Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hasha Ali Khan. So far, 20 problems I've completed on partnership accounts. In this video, 21st problem I'm going to explain. So before starting the video, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep it ready. Take the screenshot of the points of 21st problem, then I'll explain every point in detail. Now, see the 21st problem. A, B and C were carrying on business in partnership, sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 3 is to 2. Uh, on 31st December, 3 is to 2 is to 1. On 31st December 2005, balance sheet of the firm stood as follows. Sundry creditors, capital accounts, A, B, C are given, cash, debtor, stock, building. So, this is the balance sheet of A, B and C. B retired on the above mentioned date on the following terms. So one of the partner is retiring that is B. The continuing partners are A and C. Uh, building B appreciated by 7000. When an asset is appreciated, debit asset account. The building account debit, revaluation account credit. Then provision for bad debts to be made 5% on debtors. Entry will be revaluation account debit provision for doubtful debts credit goodwill of the firm be valued 9000 an adjustment in this respect be made without raising goodwill account in the previous problems also i have explained you in the case of retirement of the partner don't debit goodwill account but whatever share of goodwill the retiring partner will get that will be adjusted in the capital accounts of all the partners. For example, uh, the goodwill due to the retiring partner B is 1000. So this 1000 goodwill should be credited in the capital account of the retiring partner and debit should be given to the continuing partner in the new profit sharing ratio. In this way, goodwill will be adjusted in the capital account without raising goodwill account now uh, rupees 5000 be paid to be immediately and the balance due to him be treated as a loan carrying interest at six percent per annum so we have to find out how much is the amount total amount due to the retiring partner b of the total amount 5000 rupees are immediately paid and the remaining balance will be treated as loan, loan from B. And in future, it will carry interest at the rate of 6% per annum. But that interest will be paid in future. Right now, simply, we have to transfer the amount to the loan account. Then, uh, pass the journal entries to record the above transaction and show the balance sheet of the firm as it would appear immediately after B's retirement. So what we'll do is, we'll prepare the journal entries, partner's capital account and balance sheet. So first of all, uh, building is appreciated. So entry will be building account debit, revaluation account credit, 7000. Narration you should write being the value of building appreciated. Similarly, provision for doubtful debts. The entry will be revaluation account debit to provision for doubtful debts. 400. How 400? We have calculated how much is the percentage? 5% of debtors. So debtors are 8000. So 8000 into 5% you will get 400. Being the provision for doubtful debts created. Next, <clears throat> only two items are there. That means without making the revaluation account, we can see how much is the profit or loss. Here, revaluation account is credited by 7000. And here revaluation account is debited by 400. So credit side is income, debit side is a loss. So here 7000 income and 400 loss. So subtract 7000 minus 400. 6600 is the profit on revaluation. Because credit is more than debit. So profit. 
the entry for profit is revaluation account debit to all partners capital account so how much is the profit 6600 so revaluation account debit 6600 to A's capital to B's capital to C's capital in the old profit sharing ratio the profit sharing ratio was 3 is to 2 is to 1 3 by 6, 2 by 6 and 1 by 6 so 6600 into 3 by 6 you will get this one 6600 into 2 by 6 2200 6600 into 1 by 6 you will get 1100 so being the profit on revaluation shared by all the partners in the old ratio now adjustment of goodwill Total goodwill of the firm is given in the problem as 9000 but we don't require 9000 we want what is a share of goodwill of the retiring partner B so here in this working notes I have shown goodwill of the firm is 9000 total goodwill given in the problem and the share of goodwill of retiring partner retiring partner is B and B's profit sharing ratio is 2 by 6 because 3 is to 2 is to 1 2 by 6 so 9000 into 2 by 6 3000 so retiring partner B will get a share of goodwill of 3000 old profit sharing ratio between A, B and C 3 is to 2 is to 1 is given in the problem now B retired so in this 2 will go the remaining the continuing partner profit sharing ratio will be 3 is to 1 in between 2 is there because 3 is for uh, A 2 is for B and 1 is for C. So in between 2 will go away. So 3 is to 1 is the new profit sharing ratio between A and C. The goodwill of retiring partner B will be credited to B's capital account and debited to A's capital and C's capital in the ratio of 3 is to 1. So share of goodwill is 3000. B's capital account will be credited by 3000 and A's capital account, B's capital account will be debited. In the ratio of 3 is to 1. So 3000 into 3 by 4. 3 is to 1 comes up 3 by 4, 1 by 4. 3 by 4 means 2250. 1 by 4, 750. So entry will be A's capital account debit 2250, C's capital account debit 750, to B's capital 3000. The same entry here. A's capital account debit 2250, C's capital account debit 750, to B's capital 3000. Being the goodwill due to the retiring partner B is adjusted in the capital accounts. Now finally, B's capital account debit to cash. In the problem last slide it is given, 5000 rupees will be paid immediately to the retiring partner. Remaining amount is transferred to his loan account. So when 5000 is paid, the entry will be B's capital account debit to cash 5000 being amount paid to the retiring partner last one B's capital account debit to B's loan account whatever balance is remaining in B's capital account will be transferred to loan account being the balance transferred to B's loan account how we got this 10,200 by making the capital account right now I'm making capital account the capital account of A, B and C, three columns on debit side, three columns on credit side, by balance brought down. So in the problem balance sheet is given. In that balance sheet, A's capital was 15,000, B's capital 10,000, C's capital 10,000. Here you can see in the problem itself, 15,000, 10,000, 10,000. These are the opening capital, 15,000, 10,000. Now what is the share of profit in revaluation? So revaluation profit 3300, 2200, 1100. The partner's capital accounts are credited. So credit side revaluation profit 3300, 2200, 1000. Now adjustment of goodwill. A's capital and C's capital are debited. A's capital and C's capital are debited. So debit side to C's so to B's capital. 2250A and 750c so here we have given effect to the debit call debit side now b's capital account is credited 3000 but credit side of b's capital we should take a's capital 2250 and c's capital 750 
if you add up 2250 and 750 you get 3000 so we have to credit b's capital account 3000 here b's capital account is credited 3000 right lastly cash is paid to b b's capital account debit to cash the capital account debit side to cash 5000 amount paid to b over all the transactions are over now we have to find out how much is the balance due to the retiring partner b now see the total on the credit side of b is 15200 from 15200 minus 5000 you will get 10200 this 10200 is the balance amount due to the retiring partner and it will be transferred to b's loan account so here to B's loan account 10,200. Now B's capital account is closed. Now B is no longer a partner. He has, he has gone out of the partnership. Now A and C. The total of A on the credit side 18,300. From 18,300 deduct 2,250. 16,050 is the capital of A after retirement of B. After making all adjustment. Now 16,050. This capital will appear in the new balance sheet. Similarly, C, the total on the credit side 11,100, 11,100 minus 750, 10,350. 10,350 is the capital of C after making all adjustments. So these capitals of A and C will appear in the balance sheet. Now, we are required to make the balance sheet. By seeing the old balance sheet, easily we can make the new balance sheet. Liability side sundry credit as 13,590. No adjustment had been done on sundry credit as. The same sundry credit as will be written on the liability side sundry credit as 13,590. Right? Apart from that capital, no other liability was there. But a new liability has arisen now. That is loan. How much is the loan amount? 10,200. This loan is to be paid in future to Mr. B. So B's loan account 10,200. A new liability has come. Capital account. Earlier ABC three cap partners are there. But now we have only two partners A and C. So here A and C. And the new capital should be taken 16,050 and 10,350. That's all. Liability side completed. Now we'll see the asset side. The asset side cash. Earlier cash was 5,900. Before retirement, 5,900. Out of 5,900, how much cash is already paid to B? 5,000 is already paid. So 5,900 minus 5,000, it comes to 900 cash. Right? Next one, debtors. Debtors are given 8,000. But we have made a provision for doubtful debts 400. So 8,000 minus provision for doubtful debts 400, 7,600. Stock. There is no adjustment we have made in stock. So exactly same value stock 11,690. 11,690. Building value was 23,000. But we have appreciated, increased the value of building by 7,000. So 23,000 plus 7,000, 30,000 is the new value of the building. That's it. All the items we have taken. Simply find the total on the liability side, it comes to 50,190. Asset side also 50,190. That's all. So this is the 21st problem we have completed. Inshallah, we'll continue the next problem, 22nd problem in the next video.